not just about the money and making it, it's how you make it and who you become along the way. Her two Amway friends spend $1,000 to $1,200 a month. Hey, this is Lance McGowan here, and today I'm going to cover one of the comments I received on one of my videos, and she said, I know two people who sell Amway. They spend approximately $1,000 to $1,200 a month, basically almost half of their gross income on products for themselves. They spend enough to get their points. She says whenever they talk about their goals with Amway, it's always, all caps, always about the dollar signs. It's never about helping others like their family or children. As a matter of fact, it's about rubbing it in the face of family and friends who watch them waste so much money. Every month buying unnecessary items yet barely being able to pay their rent or buy food and voicing their concerns. This couple has no one under them and after three to four years of being involved in Amway and their uplines have stopped trying to assist them in signing up people below them. From everything I've seen from watching my two friends and ex-roommates, it's rather cult-like to me. I flipped $22 worth of name brand clothing, bought at a garage sale and made $120 profit on eBay in one month which is more profit than one of them made in one year. In six months, I'd made more than they've made in three to four years altogether. If it's not about money, then why are you talking about how much money you've made? Mm? Is that the pot calling the kettle black? Or... <clears throat> Anyways, she goes on to say, I totally believe they are being scammed. Then I gave my response to that video and I said thank you for sharing your anecdotal evidence, which means your experiential evidence, which is different than fact-based. <clears throat> I understand where you're coming from, but I addressed the distributors losing money topic in my video here, which I have in the link in the description below so you can check that out. Moreover, joining a network marketing business as a distributor prepares you for entrepreneurship and that's what I found in my own life. And just like entrepreneurship and startups, there's more people that quit or fail than stick with it and are financially successful in the long term, meaning past five years. I've learned that success is not just financial, let me tell you, let me tell you, and should factor in your mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health as well. It's not, I put that in all caps, not how much money you make, but how you make your money that matters. I'm going to say that last part again because so many people that just goes right over their head or they're just like, I don't care about money, but really they do. And, you know, money is kind of like freedom, but at the same time, it's not how much money you make, but it's how you make your money that matters. And that is such a key that I'm living through right now and seeing. And, you know, there's times where I leave money on the table with certain people or situations or customers or potential customers because I'm like, you know, it's not about the money. I, I want to focus on my quality of life right now. That means my stress levels. That means who I become as well, right? It, am I becoming a person of, of higher character or lower character? Are my relationships growing or dying? You know, how am I treating other people? Am I looking out for their best, inter best interests or am I looking out for my own best interests? Especially with a business partnership or whatever it is. You know, like I, I, I ask myself those things. I try to be self-reflective or introspective in that regard. And again, it's not just about the money and making it. It's how you make it and who you become along the way. And that's the key. And we need constructive feedback. We need people to help calibrate where we're at or where we're going, whether, being, whether we're being too harsh on ourselves or not hard enough on how we can become a better version of ourselves and really do things that what I try to do is to honor God, right? And so that's going to be really, really important in everything I do. And otherwise, hey, thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to hit the like button if you did. Share this video with somebody that would benefit from it. And most importantly, check out the links in the description below so you can continue to get your learn on. And I will see you in the next video.